Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha video. So this time around, we are going to dive into Min Mei's brand new Maid Cafe costume. So yes, today is the last day of the event that's currently going on uh, with Makina's Onyanoko event song. Um, if you guys have not been playing, I think you should <laughs> because technically it is the easiest way to gain resources for your episode plate and well, if you're looking to rack up in the um, event radars for the Red Boss event, um, this is the easiest way to get it and it's the only time that is actually worth uh, tossing out all your skip tickets at one go just to gain those extra radars. So yes, and also a service reminder, if you guys have not done so yet, technically tomorrow is the last day that you should be doing it. But, you know, just in case you have not and, you know, you watch this video too late. Um, yeah, on the 16th, which is tomorrow, because today that I'm recording this video, it's actually the 15th of February. On the 16th of February, um, at midnight in Japan, you know, the, the, um, the New Year packs are going to expire. So if you have plan, if you plan to claim that Ray Up Star, at the very last moment so that you can extend its expiration date uh, don't forget to do it by tomorrow night or whatever time that you're currently um adjusted to in your own country because just just remember before 12 midnight japan time on the 16th of february all right so once that is out of the way let's dive into the actual thing that this video is all about which is min Mei's gacha so let's take a look at Min Mei's episode plate and see whether it fares as well as Reina's episode plate because if you guys have not watched the previous episode, I highly recommend you to do so. We discussed about Reina's episode plate uh, and how useful it could be um, based on stats uh, that is shown on the episode plate. So we are going to do the same thing here for Min Mei as always. Um, oh! Oh wow! <laughs> Okay, so we we got the big surprise review right in there and yes, the episode plate comes with a score note attached to it just like Reina's episode plate. So let's take a look at the stats and the skill to see whether it's actually on par with Reina's episode plate or it might be a little bit better. So 3883, it seems like all the 6 star episode plates are starting to get really jacked up in total score. Um, so 3,800 um, total score is kind of now a brand new norm um, for the phase of Uta Macross that we are going through right now. Um, and Min Mei's episode plate has pretty good stats on the voice and charm stats. Uh, so it's lacking a bit because, well, the other two factors have already stolen that extra 20 points <laughs> onto themselves. All right, so center skill, um, star, series songs, total up level 5 so i guess when you use this episode plate on star element songs the unit's total is increased by 35 percent which is pretty decent not the best boost out there so it's likely to um, say to, that min Mei's episode plate is not meant to be used as a center position episode plate so just like reina's all right so let's move along and just like reina's the episode plate comes with a healing ability as its active skill 50% being the highest um, possible amount in the game so far. And of course, it's life skill, which is the most important thing. Is it actually better than Reina's? I don't know, because it is a score and damage improvement skill. So yeah, it's not exact it's not exactly an episode plate that you know induces the high score achievement factor, but it kind of it kind of in improves the episode plates that actually gives you that high score so um for a for a skill improvement episode plate this is probably the first of its kind with such high stats and a special note attached to the episode plate itself so with that said if you don't have an episode plate just like this to improve your score and damage abilities min main's episode plate is definitely a must get and of course, for those of you who are high score achievement, um, you know, players out there, this episode plate is definitely a must have 
for Minmay fans, there is no doubt about it. You must get this for your Minmay episode plate collection. And of course, th- don't forget the main important thing is to unlock Minmay's brand new maid costume um, for your waifu. So yeah. All right. So with that said, you know, if you have, like I said, uh, in Reina's episode, um, gacha episode, if you have the extra mula, you go ahead and toss it into the this. I mean, I don't think there is any discounted packs anymore at this point in time, so you're gonna just have to swallow the um, usual amounts. Uh, that is, you know, the the, the actual the usual amounts that the, the the packs usually cost. So if you're wondering why I'm not able to pull out the uh, Singing Stone store, well, it's because well my iPhone is on a different. Uh, iTunes account right now, so it's not on the Japanese iTunes account. So yeah, I can't pull it out. Yes, the the Singing Stone store is kind of region locked in a way, so that you know the foreigners that don't and are not able to spend their money. I guess I don't understand why this is a thing. You know, I mean, uh, shouldn't you be happy that people want to spend money on your game and don't lock it behind region, you know, lock purposes? I don't know. Sometimes marketing and strategy and licensing and all this just really makes no sense to me sometimes. But anyway, guys, we're going to dive into Min Mei's Gacha with the free single pool. And of course, um, to test the, the waters of the luck cause Reina's, Reina's episode kind of, well was good and bad at the same time so i don't know uh, i predicted in reina's episode uh you know that min may's gacha episode is gonna turn out bad so let's see if my predictions are true or not <laughs> so let's start off like i said with the free single pool and let's take a look at the valkyrie animations we do have a very quick load right there so that might be a sign that it will turn out bad. So not a single Valkyrie showing up. So yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. Oh well. Okay. So we do get a 3 star episode plate. So that's pretty normal. Um, we're going to we're gonna try and flush the luck out from um, the gacha. So we're going to do that by doing the... Uh, super space time gacha like i said i've been keeping up the 10 tickets just for this just in case you know so we're trying to flush away the bad luck and bring up the good luck so let's do this um with 10 episode plates from the super space time gacha oh oh we get some decent loads there oh no did i just use up the luck <laughs> oh no oh god okay so no it seems like it's bad luck oh no valkyrie animations at all Yep, yep, it's just looking horrible. So it's it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like a inbuilt feeling that I have nowadays. I mean, we've been pulling Utah across gachas for coming to four years now. So yeah, you can you can roughly tell when the bad luck will start coming in. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So if you guys actually did get yourself um some pretty awesome pools let me know in the comment section down below um i'd love to hear what you guys actually got yeah so yeah not even a single red box and not even a single one that you know um <laughs> of a higher rarity so this this is just I, I i guess i guess that pool served its purpose i hope it did so hopefully now that we are pulling the actual templates from min min's gacha you know the luck might be you know surfacing uh for this video i don't know but still let's hope for the best there we go guys the 10 episode plate that we are hoping to get something good out of it Ooh, some load some very slow loads right there so gotta keep hopeful here we go one two three and the golden orb yes it seems like the technique has worked. So nothing rare on the first bling, but we get four red boxes. So that means that one of the red box will evolve to its uh, rainbow form. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully it goes into a six star version instead. <laughs> Who knows? 
<laughs> okay, is this one of the new episode plates for Min Mei? I don't know. Alright, here we go. No evolution on the second red box. Reina is pondering as well whether we will have good luck. Okay, so we do get animation lag right there and the evolution of the box. So it stays in this. Oh! Oh my goodness, did we get it? No, no, this is an older plate, right? But it is belonging to Min Mei. And I have never gotten that before, so. It is a new episode played to me. Okay. Okay. Wait, it is a yellow episode played. Is this Min Mei's new plate? I don't think it is. Is it? Yeah, it's an old plate. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, I, I mean, the element is the same. Um, and obviously the, the costume of Min Mei is definitely different. But I thought, you know, my, you know, it might have evolved to that mate costume. I don't know. I was just keeping my hopes up. But still, it was a pretty decent pool considering how bad of a luck we had begun with. Um, and we did get a Min Mei episode plate. It is new for my collection, although it is an older episode plate. But, you know, as long as you get costume points and leads to an episode op, um, I think it's pretty fine. But the thing is, I have not gotten costume points for Min Mei's brand new mate costume. So that's kind of a bummer. So, um, I might have to go uh, and pull single individual costume, I mean, uh, uh, episode plates till I have obtained at least an episode plate with the costume points for Min Mei's brand new costume so that I can unlock it via episode orbs in the future. Or maybe, I don't know, I should probably save up my singing stones for Mikumo and Freya's upcoming wow curated live costumes. Ah, uh, this is just tough. This is very tough. <laughs> when you're trying to just get the bare minimum of unlocking costumes and not attaining the the um you know featured episode play itself. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another another episode. You know you can tell that I'm very tired because I'm stuttering and I'm fumbling with my words. Well what do you what what is to be expected when you're just home from uh, technically uh, eleven to twelve hour shift from work and your home straight away just do an episode of time across videos anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode if you watch through the entire thing i really really appreciate it and of course uh leave a like comment down below your thoughts on the episode plate your own gacha pools and you know what the theory of flushing the luck out with other gachas and all that kind of good jazz and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet or are brand new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next utah macross video until then bye